Annabelle is about the doll from The Conjuring. It's about how it ended up in that creepy office of creepy stuff in that movie and what happened before it, the family that first encountered that thing. This movie is not directed by James Wan, however. It is directed by his preferred cinematographer of choice since Dead Silence. This is not the first time, however, that this director has gone to direct the next installment in a franchise after having been just the cinematographer on the first one. He was the director of photography for the original Mortal Kombat film and the director of Mortal Kombat Annihilation. He also directed Butterfly Effect 2. So when everyone was like, Chris, go check out the trailer for Annabelle. It actually looks like a really good horror movie. It's a spin-off to The Conjuring. The Conjuring was awesome. It's the director of photography of The Conjuring and Insidious and Insidious 2. It's gonna be great. It's not. This movie's ass. <laughs> now, if you have not been watching my videos for a while, you do not know that I thought The Conjuring was one of the best horror films so far this decade. I loved Insidious, and I even thought Insidious 2 was pretty good. So there is no real reason why I shouldn't want to like this movie, and I do want to like this movie, but the movie is filled and populated with idiotic characters that are so, so dumb that you just can't care about them at all. It's such a predictable scary movie too because you have this sweet loving couple, you know, they have a baby on the way, everything's perfect, they're smiling all the time, he's a doctor, they have tons of money, where's this money come from? Who knows? But they are so wonderful and happy together and of course they get this doll. Who in the hell would bring this thing into their house? I was just waiting for some character to come into the scene and be like, dude, why do you have that doll? That is the creepiest looking doll I have ever seen in my life. Who in the world would put that in their baby's room, right over their carriage? No one in their right mind would ever have that doll. But it's a horror film, okay? It's meant to scare you. Does it scare you? There are some effective moments. I think if you are more of a lightweight when it comes to scary movies, this movie is gonna have you crapping your pants. It's jump scare after jump scare. With this movie, the scares were so obvious because there'd be like a really wide shot with a character sitting on a couch, and then over on the left side of the frame is an open doorway and you can see down a hall. You know someone's gonna walk by the hall. You just know what's gonna happen. I was like, there were times in this movie where I would just look over at whatever was obviously about to happen, and it would happen. Because there's not that much suspense building in the actual filmmaking and the construction of the scary scenes. There's a ton of sound effects that are supposed to make you feel as if something scary is happening, but the filmmaking doesn't work hand in hand with that because it was so obvious whenever a scare was about to take place that there's really only one or two effective moments in this movie, particularly an elevator staircase sequence that I actually thought was really cool. Besides that, the scares in this movie just didn't scare me at all. The characters were dull, wooden, and lifeless. I didn't give a crap about anyone in this movie. They were the stupidest horror characters ever where a wife goes, hey, you should probably call the police, honey, because there was a scream next door and he's like, no, they would just want us to come over and look. They wouldn't want us to call the police. I'll go check by myself. If you hear a scream next door and all the lights in the house go out, of course you call the police. You don't go into their house by yourself. Another really dumb moment is when the lead woman is talking to a police officer about his investigation into a murder. Two people were murdered by a cult in the area. She asks the officer, did you look into the cult? And he goes, why would you want me to investigate the cult? I don't know, maybe because they murdered two people right next door to the woman and then came in her house and tried to kill her too. Maybe that's why you should investigate the cult. This movie is really dumb, I'm sorry. Like this movie had some scary moments. It had some creepy moments. It was slightly better directed than some other horror films out there. But it is a really dumb movie with predictable scares that was just kind of boring in all honesty. Annabelle was a very disappointing movie. It is not even close to being as good as The Conjuring was. And I'm gonna give Annabelle a D. So guys, if you did see The Conjuring, what did you think of that movie? Do you agree with me that it's a pretty damn good horror film? And if you do decide to see Annabelle, what'd you think of that one too, guys? Also, I am in the middle of doing my David Fincher series of reviews leading up to Gone Girl this Thursday. I've already reviewed seven. Fight Club, The Game, and Panic Room. Soon I'll be bringing you guys reviews for Zodiac, Benjamin Button, The Social Network, and Girl with the Dragon Tattoo before Thursday. I've got a lot of work to do, but I do hope you guys stick with me on those videos and enjoy watching them as I look at David Fincher's career in retrospective form. Thanks as always for watching, guys, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuck menized. Yeah.